hello everyone out there so uh, today we will see how can we have some uh, uh, predefined tables materials schedules revision tables in our multi prints so we should go to in multi prints and we uh, we know that uh, we are going to have some tables for the room 8 okay so I, I have already placed these plants and uh, elevations so you can uh, our room name is uh, custom sink copy and this is our room number eight which comes by default uh, in increasing order uh, in the in ascending order in mosaic one two three like when uh, room one is by default room one then when we create a new room it will become two room two like that so we have it's eight room eight and we can just uh, you know go in cover sheets in our symbol library and just select the room 8 and drag it here to have our uh, this table we can uh, drag it uh, from the handles to make it shorter uh, to fit in the page size we can uh, just reduce the font and we can change the fonts even uh, by going here so, uh, so here we have some uh, you know pre-made existing some tables material schedules room details and these uh, the 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 values which are in the blue they are parametric they are coming from the settings okay so i'll show you how we can just custom edit these tables as per our need uh, to fit some uh, template uh, which we have uh, set in our mosaic so uh, for now just uh, we can add some notes just uh, double click this cell and just keep writing you will can add some notes okay and uh, yeah i'm pretty slow huh, in writing so uh, and these uh, blue letters these are uh, actually these are variables this is this uh, the texts are coming from the variables right so uh, you see we can just align this text uh, to the left horizontal alignment to the left okay it will be there like this and we can just uh, play some variables here uh, if we can drag some variables we will see job settings settings custom custom sync copy material so let's have some countertop materials which is set in our templates so if i drag it it's showing there in up window it's carcass white 25 so you can drag it see it's and it's a parametric value right if and uh, we can just select our table and uh, my purpose is to show you that how we can uh, play with these variables and we can make our own tables material list table with this right so and in further videos guys i'll be i'll show you how we can make a revision table from the scratch and also how to make those revision triangles from the scratch so keep watching and i'll be having those uh, videos soon and uh, uh, for now just uh, play with these variables and uh, uh, we will be having a grasp to how we can make our own tables that can be parametrically driven from the settings that we have put in our mosaic 3d correct so uh, variable banding template see it's uh, the the template we have applied for the edge bendings this is that so we can drag anything and from these uh, variables list and we can have that as a parametrically driven whatever the setting we have applied in our 3d so if we can just uh, this is object setting for this uh, appearance of this text and colors of this text here from this object settings uh, so uh, 
Uh, uh, we will edit now some uh, here, I just copy paste it to compare that uh, if we go in this, uh, the blank right corner, we can place 3D, uh, 3D image of the model, okay, of the room. And if we check here, these hinges, these are driven, parametrically driven. Uh, let's put some other nodes here. So uh, let's type edge bending under scope uh, and then bracket R8 because it's room 8. Okay, R8, we should uh, know the uh, room, uh, which room it is from that uh, where we have, we placed our rooms in mosaic. So it's room eight and it's uh, underscore bending, temp underscore then template and bracket close. Once it's close, okay, and we will we can see it's there, it's placed there. See there, it's uh, age bending. Uh, this template is placed. So this is the way, and just customize some others also. So we can just we in hinges just place I don't want I don't want something else bench tops. So let's put bench tops and uh, it's actually the counter top. so we should have here a variable is bracket r8 underscore tops underscore template so it's tops r8 underscore tops underscore template so close now see it's changed carcass y25 so the this is the material that i have applied for the countertops again we can change the uh, this title templates used like this okay so showing you that you know we can customize these existing uh, temp uh, uh, these uh, leads which comes by default in mosaic so again we can change here i do i want drawers for example let's suppose i want drawers fronts and okay and i can place here a bracket r8 underscore drawer underscore template so you can see in this image at right corner so these are the templates that i have applied with the settings and i'm just uh, trying to pull it parametrically in our drawings in our multi prints okay so this is the way and let's put cabinet what cabinet i have applied r8 underscore cabinet underscore template right so see this is the template i have applied for the cabinet so this is the way to show what we have settings and we can show those uh, in our drawings with these uh, variables. So in bench top again that R8 underscore tops underscore template. This is not texture. We uh, materials we want to show. So R8 under we can show textures also. It was there. Not bench top. R8 underscore tops underscore template okay so see this is how we have customized and we can play with uh, lots of variables that are uh, you know room settings we can show room settings here in our tables we can show materials we can show hinges we can show pools uh, these are all there here uh, where uh, you know, the variables list is there in this corner okay so it's really good guys and uh, 
hope you got the point that uh, we can parametrically show uh, the change uh, the things that we have put in our settings in mosaic in our drawings in our multi prints so parametric in the sense if we change those templates in our uh, file in mosaic file then automatically that will be uh, changed here in this drawing also that's the meaning of parametric so it once it is changed uh, anywhere we need not to ma manually changed here in drawings it will be automatically changed if our uh, material list is by variables by so it will be changed so we can save this uh, list uh, after customization is whatever the name you prefer and it will be saved in the the library that is uh, presently available there in a symbol library so if you can go in symbol library it is saved okay this is the library cover sheets by room a3 and it is saved here but we can make our own library uh, by uh, clicking that uh, three horizontal lines and we can have our own library and we can just uh, select the uh, table and we can place plus button and it will be added there right so hope you guys you got the point thanks for watching i'll be uh, coming with the more awesome videos soon thanks take care bye if you like this video please subscribe press the bell icon to get the instant notifications of the upload I'll keep uploading trainings, tutorials, videos for the CAD packages. So keep watching. Stay tuned. Thank you.